Episode 2. This series is on Isidore of Seville, Isidorus Hispalensis, and Seville is right here in southwestern Spain, of which Isidore was bishop. In the first episode, we read the whole of this and then analyzed and translated the first portion, section 1. Let's look now at section 2. Ars vero dicta est, quod artis perceptis, regulisque consistat, alii dicunt agraecis hoc tractum esse vocabulum apotes arates, id est a virtute, quam scientiam vocaverunt. Let's review then very quickly. On the subject of learning and skill. Learning has taken its name from the act of learning, or discipline, study, has taken its name from the act of learning, its designation. Whence also it can be called, or for this reason, it can also be called knowledge, scientia. For knowing, skire, has been named from discera, learning, because no one of us, nemo nostrum, knows anything or understands except for the one who learns, quidiscit. Disciplina has been named in another way, or we might say there is another explanation for the title or the term disciplina, namely because it represents a learning, discitur here in the passive, that is full or complete, plena. And thus, as I mentioned previously, Isidore wants to connect disciplina or plena with discitur plena. He now continues, ars, vero, and vero is an adverb that means truly or really, sometimes it's adversative and means but, means another true thing. Art, in fact, has been so called, dicta est, and now we have this quote through consistat, consistat here being present subjunctive. I'm going to take this as a kind of substantive clause, really serving as the predicate of ars. Ours has been named that thing which is comprised of, the sort of thing which is comprised, of the praeceptis and the regulis of art, artis, there in the genitive, comprised of the instructions or the guidelines and the regulations or the rules for art. The Greek equivalent, of course, is he techne, something done with skill, something done with ability, training, forethought, etc., and thus technique is probably a nice equivalent derived from techne, ultimately. So, now that disciplina has been defined, because remember the title of this is De Disciplina et Arte, disciplina has been defined, now ars is going to be defined. Art, indeed, has been named as that thing which is comprised of both the guidelines and the lineaments of skill, artis. Now he will give another derivation or explanation of the origin of the word ars. Others, alii, say or claim that hoc vocabulum, that this word, this term or designation, has been treated or handled by the Greeks. In other words, it's come from the Greeks. Namely, apotes arates, from the word arates namely, or that is, from the concept of virtus. So notice here that Isidore equates virtus with the Greek arete. And because arete and ars have a similar sound and a similar meaning, perhaps one, he says, derived from the other. And that is something which they have termed or dubbed knowledge, scientiam.